Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I am going to be sharing a flip through of my Louis Vuitton desk agenda. I don't think that I've ever shown a setup of this agenda before, primarily because I may have used it for a short period of time, but I did set it up and I my intentions were to use it from August to December, but I I don't know. I saw a desk um the GM on Instagram and then I immediately missed mine. So after this video, comment and let me know if you think I should keep the desk agenda set up or go back into my GM. Keep in mind that both agendas are set up with the same um system identical i have everything in each of them so it's not a big switch over and i can put whatever i've already done in my desk agenda back into my gm so hope you enjoy this video if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my videos before we get started i want to share with you my happy mail from um nubian rock chick she is an illustrator and she makes stickers and dashboard and die cut so this is a die cut um these are stickers it has goals and you can write on it it's a really thick sticker um this is a freebie card i hope this one is in the center this is a freebie card and then these are the stickers that i got and this is one dashboard so this is a five size so here are my stickers. I have this one. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen these in my story. The shop is Nubian Rock Chick. And I just picked ones that I thought was really, really pretty. And like my style, my aesthetic. I like these to just put them in different spots in my planner. Or like if I'm making a list or something. Sometimes no real specific use, but... I just love them and I love her illustration. So definitely check her out, support her. She is on Instagram. It's Nubian Rock Chick. So here is the planner. This is the desk agenda. So to make sure it's centered. Okay. Like I said, this setup is also in the GM. I took everything out of here because that's a simple switch, but I have the dashboard and everything. These are the same size inserts. I use half letter size inserts to print on. I purchased the um, half letter size paper on Amazon. They came just like this blank. It's around 32 pound paper and it's like a 98 bright, similar to what I usually print on my own when I used to cut the paper. So if you're interested in printing your own inserts and you don't want a, the hassle of cutting the paper, you can purchase the half letter size on Amazon. I will link that. So um, this is the setup. I have some things in the pocket. This is from Two Little Bees. This self-care card along with this introvert card and these two cards right here, extra fries the glow up the this is a freebie on my blog you can print it out on a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet and you just cut them out into little cards so check that out i will link that just to kind of decorate your planner put them here and there so i have some stickers in the pockets i am getting ready for fall because it is my favorite season this is from two little bees this is one of their fall kits i have another one coming in the mail sometime so pretty very glossy lots of sheen and not sheen foil i have that tucked into here so i can kind of see it this is just a louis vuitton card and this 20 dollars that i stuck here because i am bringing this planner when i leave the house and my ollie clip this is this vellum paper that i cut in half and i punch these rings are one inch disc not rings sorry disc are one inch they are from martha stewart they're 5.99 they're not aluminum, they're a plastic and it's kind of like coated. So it is not the best because they do snag quite a bit here and there. It's not 
detrimental or anything like horrible i am I'm still using it i do prefer this over the aluminum one that i have from tool because it's shinier i do love shiny gold rings i don't like the dull matte looking ones so that's why i picked these so i'll link um i i'll see if i can find these these are from staples 5.99 this card is also in the set of the little three by three cards. That's a freebie. Like I said, it's just one eight and a half by 11 sheet and it has, I think eight cards on it. Um, I made this dashboard on Canva. I did ask about um, using Canva. If anyone will be interested in a tutorial, just let me know. I'll definitely make a video about creating your own dashboards. It's pretty simple. My daughter now has a YouTube channel and she uses Canva to make her thumbnails and any type of artwork that she needs for her platform. So if she's 10 years old and she figured it out after one use. So this is, um, this says you are the strongest person that I know and I am so proud of you. It's kind of like a message to myself. I made that as the front dashboard and then I have my table of contents. Um, I have this little clear um, post-it note. It's from Peach Palm. I'm not sure if she still has it. It may be sold out, but I printed on it an ideal work morning so I can kind of keep on track with my day so I don't like go too far off track. Um, table of contents is based on what's in the planner. Wellness, write it down, finance, home and garden, just well plan life, and then work stuff. This is also made with Canva. I believe this is the only thing inside of this planner that I didn't actually make myself. This is a calendar from indigoprintables.com. I think I purchased it on Etsy and um, I had it since 2019. She had a 2019, 2020 combination. And I printed this on like a parchment paper. It's like a, it looks, feel almost like the regular parchment paper we use in the kitchen. This is linked in my Amazon under planning resources or planning tools, I think. These are just blank note pages that I printed to keep here to do my running list. It's going to be right here. And then this section is my wellness section. And this is basically my illness log, appointment tracker, pain log, journal, and things like that. I printed on the back of this. So I, I don't really like blank um, the back of. I lost my thought. I don't need like the back of dashboards when it's blank. I always like to put something on it. So I just printed something on the back of that. This Flossum is by Norris Cove. She's on Etsy and also on Instagram. And this is the other card that's in the set. It says love me and it's a part of this set. So print it regular, cut them out, put them in your planner, make them pretty. This is my journaling section where I started journaling. I wrote about my garden. Gardening has been helping me keep me sane and it's been good for my mental health. I wrote about date night. Um, I took, um, printed this with my sprocket. And then this is some information. I was doing some research about two medication I wrote here. And then it's just additional blank pages in this section so I can go ahead and um, get all my thoughts out and put them on paper. This section is the write it down section and this is a little vellum, not vellum, acetate from two little, no I'm sorry, Simply Gilded. It came in one of her boxes. I just kind of cut it down to fit inside of my desk agenda and I punched it. If you're interested, the punch that I use is the pink punch from Happy Planner, the pink one. Works great. I can punch quite a few pages at a time. No issues with it so far. So if you notice that we have the double holes here we have the regular holes and then we have the holes for the disc this is because i initially started out in my gm and then i got the itch to to set up my desk agenda i don't know where it came from but i was just like oh i want to be back in my desk agenda it never lasts it literally never lasts i don't know what it is i love having this agenda that just opens and closes without the flap but I always miss my desk agenda. If you saw my last video, you'll know how much I love that planner. But um, that's the reason why it's double punch. So if I decide to come out of this, I can just take this out and put this back in the other planner and it would not miss a beat. It will continue. Um, this is another post-it that I printed on August to December. This is where the, um, the inserts start in August and goes to December. 
if you're interested in learning how to print on post-it my friend rana from rana plans she just uploaded a video about printing on post-its check her out i will link her video below um so this is the first week of me planning in here um i back to my stickers i printed the photo of me and hubby we were fishing one evening um my daughter took this photo so i printed it with the sprocket um i have the stickers random stickers here and there the six was jamaica independence so i put that sticker there the you see this as well it also has the holes in it and then this is the current week that we're up to right now and this is the plan with me that i recently posted so this is where we are just two weeks in i'm already getting cold feet about it and i don't want to use it but the rings i mean this is kind of my pet peeve sometimes is that it doesn't smoothly open and close it's a weird thing it's like a planner girl problems planner girl problem but it's nothing major my whole thing is that i miss my rings i've been using that planner for a couple of years and i just can't get over it so this section is the finance section it says finance is boring this is a dashboard that i made also with canva and these dividers i purchased them from poi and hun poi and hun they're on instagram they're half letter size they were also punched because they were in my gm <clears throat> excuse me and um i made the labels with my brother p touch so i just used the um the clear tape the clear um roll and i printed wage wars for the wage section which is the finance and then i have like um home and garden i have girl boss and i have nine to five so these are the sections and then here i'm not sure if i mentioned it but i had self-care write it down and then we're at wage wars so this section is basically i have a section to fill out that's already filled out with my password hints and then i have bill tracker bills that i pay monthly and then after that i have blank pages for when i need to jot down any type of payment that's not listed and i also have some debt repayment sheets i don't think i use them yet but i have them written out i think i just didn't put them in here after that section we have the home and garden section um I, this is my favorite photo of all time this is a recent picture of me and my family and here i have i already filled this out it's i think i still left it in the gm so this spread not spreadsheet this sheet just has breakfast lunch dinner and snack ideas i'm going to list like things that we love commonly this way like if you're thinking of something for dinner it's not a big to do um i can just come to this list and pick out one of the items that we commonly eat that that we love and i'll just make that for breakfast lunch dinner and snack ideas so uh, i think i may list this as a freebie on the blog let me know if you're interested i may list that so these are some new designs that i have been working on all and sorry, sorry i need to go back so these inserts are kind of a new style that i made my goal is to print them for 2021 um half letter size if you would be interested in getting a setup sort of like this with these inserts printed weekly and having a disc system like this let me know i'm trying to kind of like see if um anyone would buy it if anyone is interested um here i have the project planner and then i have my girl boss section where i have like some youtube i, I have note pages income tracker and then this section is the last section it's called nine to five and this is the section that i have everything work related and the inserts that i'm using for work are these week on one page that i design these are also a new style of insert if you notice it has task on this side and it has the whole week here and a small tracker here this little grid dot section for like notes and then you have priorities at the top and the month number at the top so this is all things that i plan to incorporate into the planner that i'm that i want to put together i may just make like a limited amount just to kind of start off just to see if anyone would be interested in buying it 
Um, so that's just where I am with that. And then we get to the back of the planner. This is my, my diet supplement reminder because I take so many different things. I use it as a reference. Like if I look at the time now, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's four o'clock that I take my two PM meds. And um, I have this also on my desk. I have it in the back. It's not just in the back of my planner. I have like five of these post-it notes like everywhere. So eventually I'm gonna just get it in my head. But if I see it constantly, I'll definitely remember it. So this is also from the same brand that made these dividers, Poi and Han. And here I have some appointment cards and trackers that I made. This is already on the blog. I believe this is a dollar download. Um, this is just a Burberry card I stuck there. And this is something new that I made, these little card trackers. You can like put them in and put a paper clip on to whatever week you have, or if you want to just put it in your wallet. That's what that is for. I have a Chanel card and some stickers from two little bees that fit right in here. In the back of the planner, I have my Godiva store card, appointment cards that I made, a little to-do list card, and then this is a code card from Chapters. And then here we have my um, some extra stickers. The back of this is also from Poi and Hun. Um, I just cut it down because it was really wide. I cut it down to fit in the back and it's been working great. So, all right, now I'm gonna close her up and this is how it is. So I need help with figuring out if I should continue in this or just go back to my love of my GM. One thing that I love about this agenda is that it does not have a snap. I love that I can just open it and close it. But I don't know, it's not really a may not be a big deal to some people, but like I guess us planner girls, we have certain little pet peeves and things that just drives us up the wall sometimes. One of the things is the disc when it um hooks when I'm turning the pages. Not too bad, but I ultimately, I just love my rings in my GM. Um, I guess it's because I've used, this is the only planner that I've used for an extended time. It's kind of like my first love. I always say that when in all of the videos. So let me know if you think I should just go back into this agenda. I have everything here that's in the other agenda, that's in the desk agenda. So it's not going to be like a big to do. See, the inserts are all the same, same time frame. I will just have to just put the pockets back and then the front dashboard and take the dividers out and put them back in here. So this is the GM and the desk agenda. Let me know. You can comment what you vote for. I'll make up my mind once I see the responses, but oh, I just love miss it, miss it already. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for listening to me rambling about my little minor decision. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my video. Thank you so much for your continued support and I'll see you next time.